Hey guys, it's Greg. I don't know how I missed it, but apparently I have not reviewed the Python for Everybody specialization on Coursera offered by the University of Michigan. So, as you can see, this specialization has 184,000 ratings, so may way more people have taken that, a million point two people have taken it, and it has out of that, whoa, that's not what I meant to do, 4.8 stars. So obviously it is very, very good, rated by the people. And so do I really need to review it? Well, I think it's a good idea to go over all the material, and uh, so the rating is generally like if people think that they had a good experience then they're going to rate it pretty well but that doesn't necessarily mean they have the whole picture and so I want to just review everything there is to go. So uh, what you're going to learn install Python I sure hope so describe the basics of Python I sure hope so use variables again I really hope so and functions and loops okay so what it says here so far is really really basic stuff and skills you will gain is you know some different file types JSON and XML which are actually a lot more important than people think. Uh, apparently you also learn SQL and SQLite. Okay, so uh, they're going to be interacting using Python to interact with SQL. And so that's why you will see that in there. Okay, so that's the specialization as a whole. It has a, a few different courses in here. If you go over to courses in the specialization, course one, two, three, four, and five, that's what I have is these tabs over here. So the first course is programming for everybody or getting started. It of course has very high ratings as well. Uh, it's uh yeah so same things really it's the it's the absolute basics of python you're going to install it and you're going to get used to it the, t the teaching is very good that's really all i have to say about that python data structures of course the ratings actually it goes up to 4.9 here it will include the core data structures of the python programming language what are those well it doesn't really say them here for some reason it only says data structure in tuple but uh, there you go so store data as key value pairs using python dictionaries uh probably the most important uh data type aside from a list i'm sure they'll cover lists as well uh, and the principles of data structures and how to use them okay so this covers uh, chapters 6 to 10 in the textbook python for everybody and uh, yes of course as it says python 3 uh, python 2 is effectively dead we will not be using that using Python to access web data. Okay, so this is a very, very interesting choice here uh, for a third course. It's not probably not what I would have done, but that does not at all mean it's a bad decision. Here, we will work with HTML, XML, and JSON data formats in Python. Okay, so regular expressions, use APIs and understand protocol web, uh, web browsers and XML. Okay, so there's a lot of different things here that isn't really about what Python is. Uh, Python is a programming language to, you know, do things. Uh, but these are some of the things that you, you often end up working with in any sort of programming language. You often, um, you know, make or read XML files. Uh, I saw JSON earlier, you use that a lot. Okay, so it's an interesting choice for the third one. As you can see here, uh, it covers 11.13 in this textbook. Okay, using databases with Python, another interesting choice because you probably wouldn't expect a, uh, again, a fourth course to be in just basically SQL, uh, but it's a really, really underestimated uh, how often these things interact. So a lot of people think like, okay, SQL is SQL, which it is, it's a programming language sort of, kind of, uh, and Python is a programming language. We have to learn these two dif different things. Well, yeah, you do, except here, I really, really like that they kind of merge them in here to say, hey, you create, read, update, and delete operations to manage databases. You need to understand SQL, and don't worry, they'll, they'll teach you those pieces that you need for this. Don't worry about that. Uh, and they use Python to interact with that, which is a lot more common uh, than you might think. Like, um, you may, it may be actually as simple as just literally passing an SQL string into a Python function, or it may be a, a sort of Python abstraction itself to do the SQL data retrieval stuff. So again, I really, really like this decision and people, uh, people love it as well, as you can see. The final thing is the capstone, retrieving, processing, and visualizing data with Python. So uh, they say data viz. I don't really know who says that. I've seen it before. It's kind of silly. Um, but basically, chapters 15 to 16, and this serves as the backbone uh, for the capstone project. So understand the basics of building a search engine. It's, you know, it's just a choice. Uh, there's a lot of different things they could do for a capstone project. That's just what they thought would be interesting uh, and some email data visualization as well. Okay, so why did I go over all of these different things? Well, basically, it's not going to make you a master in Python. 
quite genuinely uh, I can see from what's in there and you know I'm f relatively familiar with uh, with the actual material itself you probably will not be a master of Python after this if I was an employer I wouldn't really be fascinated that you got this to be honest because I know if I want bothered to look at what the course has here uh, I'd see okay you can use Python and you can do a bunch of different things with it and so the material as it's for itself as a, a free thing to go over and learn so you can go of course enroll for free um, and you know you can always audit the courses in Coursera the material is free and so I would definitely recommend going through that if you're not familiar uh, super familiar with Python already if you are already relatively familiar with Python I probably wouldn't do this if you've taken this or you're thinking about taking this drop a comment down below yeah, I'll see you later guys